Hello everybody, welcome to the first round of CCL 48 match between somebody. I mean, I don't know who the two are, I just like to do one on the left first so there's no spoilers. Yudlagar and his goblins versus Rick Reckless and his Kislev. Um, in the booth with me is Kalon, hello. Hello. Great game, super excited for this one. Two excellent coaches, two lads who are very well known by the Blood Bowl community. Um, we've got Yudlgar, uh, who's an extremely good goblin coach, um, up against Rick Reckless, um, everybody's favourite, and Blood Bowl Jesus. Yeah, yeah, very interesting. Uh, Rick qualified with the last second rubbish Kislev team. Um, that's actually turned out pretty well, right? I like mean, it, it's really good. Yeah, you yeah. say rubbish Kislev team, but it's still like 1,700 worth of uh, of pretty ex pretty exciting stuff. I, I, he got yeah. very lucky that nobody died and stuff, like, because he was just literally he one run, wasn't it? And, like, he got about yeah. 15 games. Um, yeah. And, yeah, everyone survived. He's got some three guards. Pretty nice. No blitzers. He's just relied on rolling doubles for his guard, and he's got three guards. And yeah, yeah. really nice development. Incredible development. Unbelievable. Incredible development. Yeah. But a worse record than the uh, than the goblins. Funnily enough, they, like because <laughs> that's how good Yudlagar is. An incredible record. Uh, it's incredible, isn't it? Not incredible development. Well, apart from this troll, yeah. um, and the other troll's got block. So yeah, yeah dirty and player, we, dirty sure player, hands. and a wrestler, and a sure hand. So I mean, three of the doubles that you kind of want. Um, gets Ripper in as well, has, a, I think, three bribes for himself and a wizard. There's a ghost wizard, I believe. No. Um, so, yeah, a pretty uh, frantic turn there by Yud. Uh, did actually two GFIs to make sure he got the hit on the bear, but having got the bear back into position, was able to put the foul in on him. And Dimmy will be very happy to see that the bear used Thick Skull correctly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... But I mean, it's it's really hard, isn't it? It's really hard for him. This is this is such a tough matchup against Kislev. He can just come and take the ball anytime. It's, it's just a nightmare. Yeah, I mean, he does have a stripper, but the stripper is only strength two. Um, I mean, obviously that's less of an issue when you're playing against goblins. Uh, Rick willing to throw in some dice though to see if he can separate the team out. Would have been nice to get that GFI in, but uh, it does leave a little bit of a gap for the troll to or for the the ball carrier to catch up with his um, trolls. Mm. Although one of the trolls going stupid there is going to make the rest of this a little bit problematic. Yeah. First action ball carrier base. It's like we're watching Diomed again. <laughs> yeah, he's got a saw uh, him, hasn't he? He's got a saw straight in here as well. I think he could have gone around oh. here. Right? Could have gone one, two, three, four, five, and saw that from there. Yeah. Um, I think he wants somebody over there that isn't the saw, so that he can. Um, he, he, he'd want somebody there that's going to protect the saw because he doesn't want the saw getting hit. Yeah, but but uh, saws in all sorts well, of there? trouble now with them. Um, there is, but the saws in all sorts of trouble now with the um, being based on guard. Yeah. No defensive skills on the on the saw at all. No dodge on the saw, of course. Well, oh, yep, so there you go. Foul him, yeah. Okay, well, fouling him is good. Yeah, okay, fouling him cool. makes mm -hmm. sense. Ripper using his grab to keep himself nice and busy. Uh, keep himself tied up over there. And that dodge kind of seals the deal. This would be nice as well. Mm -hmm. Just to make it a little bit tricky. But yeah, Rick's willing to throw some dice at this. Because, you know, it's Rick. And uh, that could mean that there's going to be some dice on the ball. I mean, you it's fill in some of those. It's an instant yeah. duty on the ball whenever he wants. Because it's Kislev against Goblin. It's like there's no, yeah, exactly. no defense. Well, the trick is, though, whether you decide you want to do it with um, 2Ds or not. Oh, really wanted the pow there as well, so that he, or even a push so that he could follow on and get the guard on the ball, because this would have made it a lot easier. Now he has to cancel all of these before he goes in, which is the same thing, it's just with steps. Um, yeah, it's, just, it's just stupid, just, he just does whatever he wants and he rolls yeah. some dice and it's like... Yeah, gets the full pow with the wrestler. And Kazza's in. Yeah, he's AB6. I think he might have to apo this. Yeah, because it's his sure hands, right? Mm. Yeah, and it's not like you normally have a. Um, it's not like you normally have a the apo for anything else anyway, because the trolls have regen and the rest of them are just goblins. So, yep. um, hmm, unfortunate there not to get the three plus and uh, jump out, yeah. or even just hand off, I suppose. But um, all in an awkward place. That Kislev does have sidestep. I can start with a three D on him though. Pretty unfortunate, but it's fine. There's plenty of dice left on him. 
and uh, we can cancel. Yeah, so the first thing there was to cancel the assist so that Ripper can uh, take, have a go off the bear because you don't want to have the bear on that guy. Push is fine, you just want to grab him in front. So that uh, the bear nice. can damage. Because mm. the bear, of course, and his tail. Oh, you shove a goblin in. Oh, for the scout, Ooh. nice. Bouncing it himself. That's interesting. Really nice. Could have gone badly, though. Bouncing it next to a catcher like that. Oh, it doesn't work for scatters, of course. Yeah. And then he chains well, him out. Good. Oh, but he's got sidestep. Oh, he's got oh. sidestep. He's come back in. Hmm. Where's this scatter going, then? Well, ball can't catch it. <laughs> <laughs> and does get the pow. Gets the pow. Yeah. Oh, nothing better than oh, a problem uh, getting three dice. God, That's this is horrible. fucked. <laughs> yeah, it is horrible. <laughs> just <laughs> foul. Forget the ball. Just foul. <laughs> Don't even bother with the ball. <laughs> sure hands is gone, so <laughs> I'll just foul. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, one of the things about uh, the lack of... Um, oh, Savage. And gets the pick up as well. One of the things about the lack of um, blitzers on the kiss out team means that there's no diving tackle around, which is another really bad uh, thing for... Ooh, Forgot do you know what I like to do here? Mm -hmm. I like to blitz the dirty player here. Mm. And then you can chain him into there. Chain and him into gives there, you the tackle yeah. and another hit. And it, it gives you, like, movies a cleaner recovery as well. Mm. So I really, I really like the blitzing the dirty player here. Mm. This guy, I guess. Great shout with that guy, yeah. Of course, because you want to hit with the block. I mean, you want the power, obviously, but... <clears throat> a 5 plus is good enough, because there's no dodge on the chainsaw. Uh, Coolaboo. Where's the ball gone? Well, Ball and Jane doesn't catch it. Oh, DP mm. does. And he's no hits on him either because he's used his blitz. Mm. So, I mean, he can make it awkward and he can get some guys around, but uh, DP holding onto the ball is pretty tasty. Wow. Guard comes in, meaning the... Uh, well, I mean, Ooh, that's tries. pretty big. That's pretty big because... What the hell are the, you know? What the hell is he gonna do? You know, like okay, yeah, the DP's yeah. got the ball, but what the fuck is he gonna do with it? <laughs> uh, try to get thrown by the troll, I guess. Oh, um, it's very early for you to throw him, I think, and the lads have the movement on you, and uh, I think you can probably see if you can clear this. I don't think. Well, can. That, well, that helps. Just have a fucking guided <laughs> missile in the form of a of a ball and chain. I That'll just don't do think he nice can look like look how fucked he is. Like yeah. I mean to be fair, I don't play I don't play goblins, but like it just looks so horrendous that I just wouldn't want to try and do anything. <laughs> I fell with the ball? How does that sound? Mm. Get wrecked, son! Oh no. Well he has to use the bribe. I'd say he probably didn't Oh no, it's just the dirty player, so he did want to keep him in. Um but yeah, really unlucky with the saw not getting the break there, because I would have saved the next lot of dodge off. But um, yeah, this saw is uh, being is underperforming terribly. Yeah. If uh, those of us who are regular watchers will remember the last time we watched Yudlagar in a game like this, he was playing against the um, he played against the lizards in the first round and uh, made absolute shit of Muria's lizards <laughs> uh, with that chainsaw in particular. Um, I've cited it uh, to the guys on the Irish Discord as an example of exactly how to use a ball and chain. Um, mm. Just incredible stuff. Goes for the 1D. Yeah. Oh, he wants the other catcher for recovery, I suppose. And he hit him with the strip ball, so not terrible. Yeah. Yeah, two plus to get the ball. Two plus to get the ball, yeah. Oh, got a and didn't. Oh, he didn't. Oh, he double he didn't. wand it. Was he a... Double wand it because it's got it on, on auto. Yeah. Wow. wow. Another snake in as many turns. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Uh, can he surf? I mean, he can. Yeah. yeah, he's going for it as well, right? Yep. Yeah, takes the push. Beautiful. Beautiful. He's going to make it tricky. Has he got a guy left to pick it up? Uh, the chainsaw. He does, but he's a while away. Uh, yeah, the chainsaw, yeah. Oh, cause he moved, did he move off the chainsaw? No, because it's the only one there that could do anything. Yes. I guess this yeah, guy yeah, yeah. yeah, he did. He, he, he's nobody in base contact with the chainsaw anymore. He got the surf, but at what cost? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, had he got rid of one of the catchers, uh, that catcher in particular, that would have been pretty amazing. Mm. So, maybe it wasn't, uh, maybe it was fine. Maybe, like, it's so hard to defend the ball that you might as well just go for surfs. Ooh. Yep. 
and the fact that they're agility four as well. They're just so hard to come in, um, and like they're so likely to be able to come in and hit you. You know. Yep. So I think getting rid of the strength, the the agility four is is, is pretty much. Now he doesn't even need to get in though. This is just instant. Uh, well, he's got guard on it, so he needs to cut the assist at the top corner, and uh, he has two dice. Yeah, it's instant two D. It is, yeah. Instant duty. Okay. Ooh. Don't know why he's doing that. It's, uh... Oh, again, because he wants to share hands for the oh, recovery. This... But he's got it. He just This guard goes in there and he 2Ds him. 2D from that way out. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. would have been... That would have made a lot more sense. I suppose he wants to. Yeah. It's, is it the push direction he's worried about? No, this yeah. is just better. This is. I don't know why he's. Oh, yeah, you're this 100 percent because then this guy just gets surfed back as well if he doesn't yeah, defeat. Yeah. If he has to take the boat down. Yeah, this is horrible, Eric. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, helpfully puts him in range. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was that was that was pretty pretty diabolical. Hmm. In my opinion. <laughs> One dice on Ripper with the bear, though. That's fucking ballsy, isn't it? I oh, guess the kill. Oh, in hell. Dice. A big four plus to see if uh, Ripper will get back in the game. Oh, God. This is... This is a disaster. 50-50 activation fails. Yeah. Well, you got to see what's going on before you... Because, you know, you want to see what happens before... Maybe, no, was he next to the Fnatic? Uh, no, he wasn't. Don't think Fnatic was one way. Mm. I just dodged through. Fuck it. Yeah. What have you got? There are this many fucks to give. No, I mean, you can't do anything Ooh. else. Like, it's just so horrible. Yeah. So, probably suffers the sack here, but it's going to be very difficult for the Kislev to score. Yeah. Oh, he's free, so we can just chain him. Yep. Not gonna. No. Hmm. He seems fine about taking the hits from the ball and chain as well. Mm. But uh, gets himself a 2D with the uh, catcher. Instant. Put a reroll in. He does, yeah. Has block as well, so it was 55%. Has he... Ooh, has he got much movement left? Well, presumably he has two. Just GFI, uh, No, yeah. it's GFIs. Yeah, just Double two GFIs, GFIs to get in. Ooh. Um, oh, because he's only strength two. He has to cover for the fact that the guy can get up and one DM. Yeah. Uh, but it does uh, reduce one of the uh, scoring threats, because the main scoring threat here is this... Um, is that guy there. So yeah. as long as Yod doesn't... Activate the troll, which he, I doubt he has any interest in doing. Oh, he's flinging a flinging a lad. <laughs> Miss. Stun's fine. And ball and chain. Could get himself in a world of trouble here. <clears throat> oh, cripes! Only he's leaving him there for the surf as well. Yeah. Make him fine, roll the two it? dice. Well, it's great against Rick as well, right? Yeah. <laughs> Rick could be like, oh, I'll be fucking surfing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's two dice, it's two red dice. I just need a push, it's fine. <laughs> Needs an assist to make it two reds as well, doesn't uh, it? So like, yes. Fine. And it was probably safer with the lack of rerolls, so he needed he needed the reroll on the uh on the on the blitz. Hmm. So, is that going to be the... Yeah, no, he's not going to bother really. Um, and goes for the leap out. Oh, uh, I suppose at least if he falls, if he fails there, he might have been in range anyway, right? Uh, I don't know. He probably just thinks it looks cooler. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, <laughs> no, he wasn't. No, he was one shy. Yeah, I just think he thought it looked cooler, honestly. Yeah. A lot of cool. people do that for that reason. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well... That would look pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that that one was fine as well. You'd be fine with him failing in that square. So that's just the troll, but you just got to blitz him as a troll, haven't you? I guess. 
Um, yeah, so you just need the assist and then uh, double GF5 blitz. Yeah, fair play. Just get rid of the scoring threat and yeah. The enemy kind of push the button if you disable his hands. There you go. Oh, shit. Well, uh, it's fine because he has to, it makes the throw harder. Yeah. There's no rerolls. No rerolls. Oh, I'm fouling, well, right? fouling with a saw. Yeah. Okay, ah, that's fouling with the saw is lovely. Yeah. Oh, last reroll goes in to make sure the chain doesn't kick back. No. Oh, nice. The saw has been absolutely useless this game. Yeah, it has been terrible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unbroken armor at all. A couple of them on armor, on armor seven as well. That was. Oh no, that was only armor, armor eight. For sure. So does the blitz. Ooh. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> and he can hand off and then pass. This isn't that good, is it? And he's going for the full pass. Straight for the pass. He must have worked out the uh, the plus two wasn't uh, wasn't good enough. The plus two squares. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think he's wrong. <laughs> I think he was um, wrong. <laughs> I think yeah. If you add in the two plus, because I think he was wrong. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, because it turns it so it's a it's either a, it's a naked four or it's a two three, and the two three is better than the four. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. So uses one of the bribes by the look of it on the saw. Decides not to take the not to keep the um, ball and chain. Yeah. Um, but I suppose with the dirty player and everything, he's kind of happy enough at that. I mean, that was a good half of the goblins, honestly. Not it conceding, <laughs> not, not conceding, conceding on their offense was a good half. Yep. <laughs> I mean, the really good thing about it is that, they, like, in a weird way, because they didn't score on turn eight, they didn't have to use their bribes for the extra turn. Although mm. we had the bench anyway, so he probably could have thrown them on, uh, which is also a great sign because oh, Ripper didn't wake up. Um, but it's also a great sign that he hasn't taken a huge amount of uh, attrition, considering he has still has his bench entirely intact. Mm. So yeah, pretty good, pretty great from um, from Yud, and of course he appled his uh, sure hands, so his sure hands is back in play. Yeah. It's sad that a great result is not losing on your offense, mm -hmm. <laughs> but like it really is a good, the kids level just so just unstoppable, really. Uh, like they, every they, uh, yeah, yeah. Every, every team happen. struggles to play against them, but at least other teams have outs against them, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can screen and, you know, the catches are only strength two and yeah, yeah but that just doesn't matter against uh, goblins. So always going to be a turf, a tough game of it. Yeah. Shouldn't have to make this three, but sure, why bother? <sighs> Would have been nice to have had a, a little bit of a foothold in territory there, but uh, at least he can get his guard back over and uh, into making an assist here. Yeah, he's got plenty um, of time, hasn't he? Mm-hmm. Least favourite match. <clears throat> wow. Wow, that's really interesting. Whoa! Goliath Games in the house. Whoa! Hello, <laughs> Goliath. Congratulations Whoa. again, Goliath. You heard it was uh, he's up for an Emmy. Wow, really? Yeah. Glorious. Absolutely amazing, man. Well done. Mm, incredible. Wrestle down on the troll is pretty great, and uh, can just shove the guard in and make this just not at all appealing. Saw the bear. Oh no, the catcher. Oh, it's way more mm. sensible. Mm -hmm. Boring bastard. To be fair, he did. He saw the bear at the, the, the first turn, did nodding. Yeah. So uh, that's pretty nice. And he's able to get a nice bit of cover as well. The problem with sawing the bear and it failing is you get a bear in the face. Yeah. So the uh, problem with this yeah, succeeding really is nice having protection. this having this covering like he's covered and maybe he's too much in the yeah, mm. completely abandoned defense. Um yeah, maybe. Um I mean they can certainly get a good foothold on the other side for sure. But um, get a foul off this way as well. And um and I think protecting the saw is massively important. Mm. Especially when you're up against uh four blodgers, right? Yeah, and in but a way, this is the only chance you've now. got, isn't it? This is the only chance yeah. you've got, is see if you get your throw teammate for a draw and then win the toss and throw teammate exactly. for the win. It's, it's terrible, but... I'm, I'm not a fan of abandoning defence on turn one, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
But what's he going to do? Is he just going to stall there for ages? Is he going to, you know, if he if he tries to dilly dally, he'll get he'll get lads swarming around him, and a uh, bunch of goblins. I mean, they are murderous little pricks. <laughs> um, they can do some damage when they get back to you. Um. Yeah, is Bombardier bad? Um, it's a great question. If you ask, depending on who you ask, uh, some people think he's great, some people think he isn't. He's a little high rolly for me, uh, so I don't like him. Uh, I think the rostered saw is probably the best, and the uh, ball and chain is amazing. And the only reason the rostered saw is good is because that's absolutely outrageous. Another KO from the bear. Mm -hmm. um, just trying to prove Dimmy wrong um, by insisting that the bear is actually relevant. Oh, 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 oh. oh, Rick using thick skull again. He used skull correctly. What a bastard. He's just so good at this game. Really yeah. Genius. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, 100% good. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I mean, it, it kind of does if it was possible. <laughs> but yeah, but I mean, you know, like, you have to play the game, right? Yeah, but I just so... think it's not possible. I just don't think it's gonna work all that way. <laughs> Holy shit. He didn't use he didn't use Tick Skull on that. He and didn't. he appled it. Oh wow, okay. Wow. Okay, I stand corrected. Um, wow. What an apple. And yeah, seriously worried about the uh, saw and go straight for it the one time that it's left open. Uh rec Rick recognizing that it is the uh, the big out that Yud has. Your ass! Mm. Your ass what um, you me? Well, yeah, but sorry, that was pretty funny. I shouldn't be laughing at the dead bear. <laughs> Animal cruelty. No, it was pretty good. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I just, I like, I just feel like this isn't a possible <laughs> successful thing. But you know, I've probably got a lower opinion of goblins than you'd has anyway. <laughs> uh, I, I, it's, it's a, it's a recurring theme, to be honest with you, Jim. A lot of people just don't rate goblins at all. Um, I mean, when we did the game against the, um, the. Uh, Lizard team. I did call that game as a uh, win for the goblins before the game happened. Uh, if anybody would like to know, mm -hmm. um, and because uh, the team wasn't very good, and uh, uh, as soon as I could see what was going on, the player just hadn't uh, hadn't, hadn't come up against a, a competent goblin coach. I don't think it was uh, you know two dice and goblins when you could have three dice them all the time and little things like that. That just uh, and and masterful use of the saw by Yod as well. How does he get? How does he get back and do anything? Well, all he needs to do is just remove all of this, and then he can go back and take care of the rest of it. Mm. Yeah, this is, I really like it. I think it's a great plan. Goblins are murderous little fuckers. He's kicking the shit out of the kiss level, like. And uh, yeah, he's going to be able to get a, a fairly decent foul in here if he wants. Um, but now you can just uh, try to tag this guy in and keep him busy. Well, Rick's arm is held up remarkably well, to be fair. Uh, I know he's got a dead bear, but, um, and a couple of KOs and what have you, but in general, I think his arm has been, um, it has been pretty good. Not that it matters all that much. You, you play the board stay, whatever it is, but, um, yeah. He's taken quite a few mighty blow hits and hasn't really taken a huge amount of damage. Um, yep, yep. I'm with the uh, I'm with the odd here. I think this is all going pretty well for the goblins, to be honest with you. It's still nil nil. He's having to bring other guys back up so that he can actually take on these goblins, and is realizing that they're quite a threat. The saw back in action next turn is massive as well. That's not ideal. No. Mm. Mm. Unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. That was a shit turn. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, what are you going to do? Lad doesn't move. Other guy gets a one in nine. You know, it happens. What, what you could do is have trolls without Loma. Man. I really think it's uh, an absolute shame that they uh, didn't do it. I, even like being aware of it enough to give them loner three plus as well, and not just take it away. Um, like it's only two of them, and um, and the fact that they don't have Ripper at the moment as well is just so debilitating for them. There's and, two of them. Uh, it's so stupid. You've got two throwers on nearly every team. You've got two yeah. uh, 
two war dancers. Why why do they have to have a special rule for Lowen when there's two of them? It's fucking. When stupid. there's only two of them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, stupid. I think it's uh, I think it's really really unfair to be honest. Ugh. Stupid. Mm -hmm. Poor troll. Yeah, poor trolls. Poor goblins in general. I mean, Looking they're just trees. Trees don't have Lorna, do they? It's a joke. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> um. And uh, yeah, just missing all of their star players at the moment as well. Uh, I suppose it's just it's very games workshop. They just wanted to sell the new Snotling toys, right? And Snotlings are hot at the moment. Snotlings are fucking ridiculously good. Yeah. Um, and if anybody is interested in playing um, goblins in uh, Blood Bowl 2020, uh, just play Snotlings. They're better. Um, I mean, yeah, Jay Bazza, but they still haven't got loner because they're not loners. There's two of them, and mm -hmm. but, you know, and there's two trolls, but they've got loner. It's stupid. It is, yeah. I think it's really, it's really, um, it's a, it's a really shit change. Wow, Rick's fouling now. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It is the DP, to be fair. Oh my god. Flippin' Rick. Mm -hmm. Only Rick on ends up being the one doing the fouling. <laughs> <laughs> Against goblins, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. There could be a little bit of threat here. It's the troll back in action. We can get some of these guys back around I mean, as well. it's not really a threat, is it? Uh, yeah. Nah. It is. They're only strength of two. Nah. They're the same strength. He can one-dice them. He's got a guard there, though. Yeah. And it's too little, too late, and all he's got is the throat teammate, which was really decided on turn one. Yeah, fair enough. Which I still think the, the the plan was fine overall. I think it was it was going quite well until all of a sudden it just didn't work. Cause is well, that was what the problem with, with the. I mean, that's the problem with the plan as well, right? Like, if anything goes wrong with it, you like you you, <laughs> you destroyed your own defense on turn one, on purpose. And you're battling yeah, but... to get back for the rest of the half. You're battling, and you've got to battle because things can go wrong, right? Like, that's the thing. And then that little bit of it going wrong just eliminated any hope of it going right. And, and But that's okay if you, if you just decide. Uh, yeah, you know, it's not, like, it's not like goblins can score a fucking three turn. Like, yeah. if it goes well. <coughs> Sorry, I'm it's, dying. But it, it's also, you're okay. It's also, it's how goblins work, though. They either work or they don't. Um, and you have to um, you have to keep working with them until they just decide not to work. Um, like he did just manage to get a one dice with wrestle on the ball there, which is pretty spectacular. Um, and uh, can get this nice big 3D, which is great. And uh, yeah, but like you know, it's it's not dissimilar to vampires when you have a plan at the start of the turn, and it will change depending on how things go. Um, and I think most goblin coaches are aware of the fact that you just have to work with whatever is happening at the time. Well, yeah, but he um, just he gave up on defense, and then he's he's got a one turn, which is like he, he didn't. Just, but he I didn't think, well, he did, and I think that's fair enough to do because how do you do an offense? How do you construct an offense against Kislev as goblins? You just fucking can't. You just right? don't. No, you just don't. You, just, you literally you can't construct the, an offense. And if you, you manage to get him to score yeah. early, and you've got to like do a four turn drive, how do you do it? You can't because he's mm -hmm. Kislev. So mm -hmm. like. But it's just, I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck, sorry, I meant to mute. You're okay, do you want some water or something? Um, so, Rick manages to put it in, turn 16. We have the one turn back. Let's see if we get some of these KOs. Fucking Ripper, the sleepy prick, doesn't get up. And uh, Rick gets one of his KOs back. Um, so, do you want to bribe? No. Um, oh, he failed the bribe. Had a bribe available to see if he could keep him on for overtime. But uh, unfortunately, he gets the one on the bribe, so no, no, no saw for the third half should we get there. Which is, uh, which is very unfortunate, because he did have the spare goblin on the sideline as well, so he would have made it an option. Whew. Good night, Shavide. Yeah, so I guess what I was trying to say see, was... Take it easy. I guess what I was trying to say was th this this first turn would have been terrible if he had a real team, but because he had goblins, maybe he's just hoping that the one turn was the best chance. Because ah, cool. yeah, 
Because the first half, we all called a success because he didn't get turned over and scored on, <laughs> you know. Yes, like. yes, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if, if that's, yeah, then I agree with the, then I agree with your assessment on, on how it was going overall. Uh, I, think it was, I think it was fine. I think it was pretty cool. Oh, dear. Um, really interesting to have the... During all that. <laughs> really interesting to have the second troll so deep. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that, Yud, as a, um, as a as a decision as to why you have the, the second troll so deep is it is it in case of a riot maybe mm. um entire proper defense against full kislev team yeah that's that's fair entirely yeah and i think the you were you were winning the fight for quite a while as well so i think that was good is it about stacking the catch maybe is that what this is about okay wow, so re-roll on that yeah <laughs> is there something amazing about to happen here? Oh, he's pushed the guy back so that he's in range of the pickup, yeah. so that he can pick up the ball. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. fucking beautiful. And then sure hands fucking failed. <laughs> I thought he was in range. I literally counted it and thought he was in range, but obviously yeah. I miscounted. Wow. <laughs> that was beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. 14 over breaks aside. Yeah, it's fair enough. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh well. Mm. Yeah, good. Goblins. Good effort. Goblins are great, man. I really, I find them so much They're fun. They're not great. They're not great. And, They're uh... terrible. They're terrible. <laughs> They're absolutely terrible. Which is, you know, all credit to you, the guy for getting such an yeah. amazing record with them and stuff because they yeah. are fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I just love seeing them well coached and uh, proving to people that they're not the joke team that other people think they are. We are definitely the joke team that other people think <laughs> they are. <laughs> well, well done, you. And uh, yeah, it's good commiserations also. And uh, congratulations, Rick. Yep. Yep. Well done. Well, well played, both of them. And thank you very much, Kalon, for the core commentary. Absolutely glorious. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.